All right, workout worthy, welcome to Total Body Conditioning. This is a quick, effective, full body workout that's gonna get your cardio, your strength training, and your core all done at once. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. Your workouts do not need to be extreme, but you do need to be consistent. We're gonna start with a quick warm up. If you are already warm, if you did some cardio, if you went for a walk, you can skip ahead about three minutes to section one. Otherwise, let's march it out. You wanna start with your right leg. Back is tall. Abs are nice and tight. You wanna feel like you're sucking your belly in, flexing through your core the entire workout. Chest is open, shoulders are low, and your head is an extension of your spine. Let's take it side to side, to the right and left. Step and tap. Now it really doesn't matter which way you go as long as you're moving. Keep your core engaged, keep your posture, from the warm up to the cool down. Wide knees out. Pulling up towards our underarms. Keeping the shoulders low and relaxed, of course. Eight more. Alternating sides. Four, three. Hamstring curls. Elbows. Gently pull. Just a gentle stretch, not yanking. Heels curl up towards our glutes. We want to have our sneakers disappear behind our thighs, keeping our knees aligned. Wide knees, out. Hamstring curls back, nice gentle stretch. Back to wide knees for four. Hamstring curls, four, four. Wide knees, four. Hamstrings for four. Now sets of two. Knees out wide. Ham curls back. Knees out wide. Curl back. Out. Curl. Stay it side to side. Right and left. Change this to a two step. Two to your right, two to your left. Now bigger arms circle in the direction that you're going. You can keep this no impact, or we can add propulsion, a little bit of a hop in the middle, up and over. Four more. We're gonna stay with this two-step for the rest of the warm-up. Two-step at a wide knee. With or without propulsion on that two-step, it's your warm-up. Take what you need. Two step with a curl. Back. Keeping that alignment through your knee. So important. Four more. Our final two step. Two step with a cross behind. This can be a little tap. Or you can take it into a deeper lunge. Up and over with or without propulsion. Two step. Big arms. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. March it out. Okay, grab a drink, towel up. First section. We only have three sections today, a little bit longer. We're gonna start with cardio. Standing mountain climbers. Arm opposite with the leg. First you choose your impact. No impact here or high impact here. Knees pull forward so we're not doing that hamstring curl. We're doing a knee lift. Now, once you choose your impact, then you choose your range of motion. You can have big ranges of motion as long as you keep a neutral spine or you might have smaller ranges of motion. After you choose your impact, and your range of motion, you're gonna sprint. Go as fast as you can, are we ready? 30 seconds, that's it, let's go. 30 seconds. Knees are soft, abs are tight, rib cage pulled down. Chin stays level, so we're not bobbing our head. Spine stays neutral. Only 30 seconds, so choose the hardest option that you can do outside your comfort zone. Halfway, 15 seconds left. Go, go. 
no impact. You can still get intensity. You might need a bigger range of motion, faster effort pace, but you can do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna start with deadlifts. Bending your knees, lifting your legs, the lower body strength move. Legs hip width apart, heaviest weight you can do in good form. Four counts. We're gonna hinge for four, resisting that stretch. Then dig your heels into the ground, contracting to lift back up. Inhale. Exhale. Really thinking about those inner thighs, those hamstrings and glutes. Heart rate should be high from that 30 second cardio burst we just did. Make sure you're breathing, working at your own intensity. You can stay at this pace or two count deadlifts. Hinge for two, contract for two. Hinge for two, contract for two. Inhale, shoulder blades stay retracted like you're holding a pencil between those shoulder blades. We allow our arms to hang without letting our shoulder blades separate. And think about your arms just holding the dumbbells. It's your legs that are lifting the dumbbells. Such a big difference. Keep it up. Inhale and exhale. Resist the stretch. Contract the legs. And doing a deadlift, it's not about flexibility. We're not challenging our range of motion. We're challenging our strength. Four more. Inhale and exhale. Knees are soft, but this movement is more of a hip hinge, hinging and contracting. You can stay at this pace for the rest of the set, or you can do up to eight singles, eight or less. Seven, you'll notice if I go to the single tempo pace, my movement is tiny, because I wanna make sure everything I do in a deadlift is focusing on those inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. Good four. Now we're gonna switch to the back, upper body. Bend your knees, lift for the legs. If you need to adjust your weight, you might not need to. And with a wide bend back row, it's like we're holding a deadlift in perfect form. Then we pull out wide, up for two, lower for two. Exhale and inhale. Knees are soft, hinged at the hip. We wanna make sure our chest is past our toes so we're working against gravity, getting our back at that moving muscle. Reaching to the crown of your head, keeping your chin nice and level. Shoulders are low and relaxed. Retracting the shoulder blades and controlling singles. Inhale, exhale. Not pulling too high. We're not jerking. We're using our back to contract, lifting the weight. And then we're using our back to control the lower. Halfway, eight or less. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. And we're gonna go back to our legs. Bend your knees, lift with your legs if you need to adjust your weight. A traditional set of squats. Legs are hip to shoulder width apart, toes are angled out. Dumbbells can be at your side or on your shoulders. Two counts. Down for two. Up for two. Inhale and exhale. We're curling our toes in our shoes, keeping our weight in our heels, and making sure our knees are tracking right in line with our toes. Hips reach back. It's like we're trying to sit in a chair. It's just a little bit too far away. Minimizing our knees coming forward and keeping our chest lifted so our belly faces forward, not the floor. Singles. Two sets of eight. It's the maximum number of reps, but it is a strength challenge. So don't worry as much about speed. Focus on your form. Isolating the legs, stabilizing with the core. Halfway, eight or less. Seven. Inhale. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna go back to our upper body with an overhead shoulder press. I'm gonna lighten my weight just a little bit with your knees, lift up your legs if you're doing the same. Big shoulder roll, we want a great foundation. Knees are soft, bring the arms up. Shoulder press, two counts, exhale and inhale. Great posture, feeling length, not compression, like you're stretching through the crown of your head, keeping your chin level, pushing your shoulders down as you extend those arms up. 
Our shoulders stay level, so do our hips. And we've got a nice neutral spine, not a flat back, but those natural curves are in place and our core contracts to support singles. No bouncing, no momentum. Stabilizing with your legs and your core. Long neck still. Pressing through the knuckles instead of pushing through your palms. Keep breathing, inhale. And exhale, if it feels too fast, slow it down, go at your own pace. Focus on strength. I'd rather see 14 great shoulder presses than 16 so-so ones. Great job. Lower body. I'm gonna go back to my heavier weights. We're going to do a set of plie squats. Toes are angled out. Hips are open in the front, squeezing through the glutes, keeping your knees tracking on your toe line. Down for two, start small. We're really opening through those adductors, opening through the hips and contracting through the abductors so those knees stay out nice and wide. Four more. A plie is a little bit more one dimensional. Like there's a wall in front of you, wall behind you. Don't worry about how low you go. Worry about that alignment, that leg strength. Singles. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Pushing through the heels still. That's one of the only things that is similar with a plie in that traditional squat we just did. Eight or less. How's that knee alignment? Kneecaps following the toes is so important. Four or less. Three, two, and one. Bring it up. Triceps, smaller muscle group. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks. So I'm gonna go back to my lighter weights. Same position that we did for those wide bent back rows. We're gonna hinge chest is past our toes, pull our elbows in line, then we contract the tricep, control the bend. Stretching through the crown of your head, keeping your chin level, shoulders low and relaxed. Neutral spine, sucking your belly up to your spine, contracting the core. Now your shoulders don't move, and neither do your elbows. Elbows are glued right where they are, so we don't lift or lower through the elbow. We simply extend as that tricep contracts. Singles, no swinging, contract, control. Don't think about lifting the weight. Think about that tricep. Contract, control. Straight, 90. Knuckles always face the floor at the bottom. Never the wall in front of you. If it feels too fast, slow it down. Go at your own pace. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Lower body, we've got lunges. I'm gonna keep my lighter weights. My lunges are not as strong as my squats or my deadlifts. Take your right leg forward, your left leg back, hips are square, dumbbells again, they can be at your side or on your shoulders. Stationary lunge or a split squat with one leg forward, one leg back, back heel lifted. We're bending both knees and extending both knees, keeping our head and shoulders right above our hips. Belly is sucking in, we're working our core, we're stabilizing. We're supporting that neutral spine. And your pelvic bone stays neutral too. What we don't want to do, we don't want to arch, but we don't want to pelvic tilt and tuck our hips. Singles, inhale. A little bend goes a long way, especially in good form. So that's a great option. If you're going deeper, or if the music seems too fast, go at your own pace. We're halfway. Eight or less. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it up. Left leg, same exact set. We got 24 repetitions. Take your left leg forward. If your feet are too close together, you're not gonna be having a chance to be in good alignment. So wide stands, back heel lifted, hips are square. Two counts, lower, lift, lower, and lift, breathing. Inhale, and exhale, inhale. We got four more, earn it. Even if you're not going very deep, take the two counts to get there, two counts to get back up. These slow ones are a great time to improve your form, which we all can do. 
Great time to really isolate the muscles. Singles. Two sets of eight. Single tempo's the fastest you should go, but anything slower than this is more than fine. If you need to hold at the top, hold at the top. But don't stop, don't give up. You can find a way to challenge. Eight or less. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, bring it up. Biceps. Combination curl. Body position's the same as we did for those shoulder presses. Big shoulder roll, neck is long, chest is open. We're gonna start with our fingers facing our thighs and just almost a quarter turn as we curl, making a V at the top and then lowering down. Exhale and inhale. Keep those shoulders back. We don't want our shoulders hunching forward when we do this bicep curl. You wanna keep that posture, keep that alignment. Stopping in line. We don't externally rotate. Stop here and then extend. Focusing on the bicep. That contraction is what is lifting the weight. Stay at this pace or singles. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pause, pause, contract, control. We're not swinging, we're not using momentum. We've got a neutral wrist, so the wrist isn't making this movement happen. It's stabilizing, it's holding the dumbbell but it's not moving. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now the next three exercises we're gonna do on the floor. If you prefer to stay upright now or the entire time, you can do push-ups against the wall. If you can bring it to the floor, we're gonna do push-ups on the floor. Hands wider than shoulder width apart, wrists below the shoulders, not your face. You can do all fours with a straight line from your head to your tailbone. You can do on your knees with a straight line, head to your knees, or you can be on your toes, feet together or a little wider for stability. Two counts, lower for two, push up. Lower for two, push up. Inhale, exhale, belly is sucking up towards your spine, flexing through those core muscles. We are halfway. Only go as low as you can control. You wanna start in the hardest position you can do in good form but then modify if you need to. Last one, nice and slow, nice and strong. Quick rest. We are gonna do those single tempo push-ups. 16 is the maximum. It is fast, so I probably won't get all 16 done, and I'm gonna do a more modified option for that faster pace. Here we go. Bend, push. Inhale, exhale. Lower, press, lower, press, inhale, exhale, that's halfway. If you need to modify your position, modify your position. If you need to hold at the top, hold at the top, but do not stop working. Choose your challenge, put in that effort where you need it to be. Last one, quick rest. Mountain climbers, if you are standing, you can do standing mountain climbers again. If you're horizontal, we're gonna do 30 seconds. Options, you can hold plank if you need to. You can bend one knee without moving your foot. One foot at a time, so you always have a contact point or switches. 30 seconds, here we go. Long neck, strong core. Upper body, lower body, core and cardio. All rolled up in this one challenging move. Shoulders low and relaxed, chin is level. Belly sucking up towards our spine. We're halfway. Work outside your comfort zone. Maybe you don't want that impact. You can still move with intensity. Maybe you can't move your feet off the floor, but you can bend your knee. Three, two, one. Sink it back. Feel that length. Feel that stretch. Last exercise. We're going to alternate spinal balance for 30 seconds on all fours. Reach. Opposite hand, opposite leg, reach. Stabilizing. So as you switch sides, you're gonna feel your body shift, but we don't wanna see a shift. You're gonna see a shift. I am far from perfect with this exercise, but that is what we're going for. 
Stabilizing, head to the tailbone, belly sucking in towards the spine. Last exercise, reach and lower, reach. We're not arching our back, we're keeping that neutral spine. And think more about reaching to the side walls than arching to the ceiling. Three, two, one, done, sink it back. Feel that length. When you are ready, round up nice and slow onto the balls of your feet. Support yourself to stand. Take a nice deep breath, grab a drink, towel off. So that was round one. That was a great workout. If you are ever short on time, save this workout. You can do just that portion and know that you got your cardio strength and core done head to toe. Now we're here, we're putting in the time. We're gonna go through round two. Some of it's gonna be the same. The strength training is gonna be a little shorter though. Are we ready? Starting with cardio. Standing mountain climbers, only 30 seconds. Chin is level, abs are tight. Choose your impact, high impact or no impact. Then choose your range of motion. Your arms should be a little tired, so maybe you're not lifting them as high. Fast as you can go. It should be outside your comfort zone, not causing pain, but causing discomfort, working hard. 10 seconds, go to the end. Five, four, three, two, and one. Deadlifts, bending your knees, lift with your legs. Legs hip width apart, reaching through the crown of your head. We're gonna start with a two count deadlift, two counts. Hinge for two, contract for two. Hinge for two, contract for two. Resist the stretch. Chin is level, so we're not looking at the wall behind us. It's like there's a yardstick attached to our back from our butt to our head. We're keeping that alignment. Inhale. You can stay here. Let's stay here. Let's do four more. Locking in good form. Visualizing those inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. Resisting the stretch, then contracting the lift. You can stay here or single for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bent back rows. 16 is the number, and they're all gonna be single tempo. So make sure you've got that long neutral spine, hinge so your chest is past your toes, keeping that good alignment. Single wide back rows. Pull, not jerking, but contracting the back not lifting too high, so we do not want to feel a stretch in the front of our shoulder. We want to feel that strength challenge in our back. Halfway, eight or less, seven. Inhale, exhale, pull, pull, two, bring it up. Squats, heaviest weight you can do in good form. Bending your knees, lift with your legs if you need to adjust. You can hold those dumbbells at your side, or you can bring them up to your shoulders out of the way. Weights in the heels, toes angled out, knees follow your toes. Two sets of eight. 16 is the maximum reps. Breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, halfway, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Shoulders over the head, shoulder press. I'm gonna adjust my weight a little bit lighter. 16 at the most. Good foundation. Knees are soft, hips are level, big shoulder roll. Knuckles up to the ceiling, we ready? Singles, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Knuckles to the ceiling, pressing through your knuckles, not pushing through the palms. We wanna keep our neutral wrist. We're halfway, eight or less, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plie squats, you might not need to adjust your weight, but if you do, 
Bend your knees, lift with your legs. That extra squat adds up. Do it safely so it's a value, not a liability with bad form. We ready for our plies? Singles, inhale, exhale. Push through those heels. Make those knees go out on the exact same angle as your toes. So we're not hurting the knee as we plie. Halfway, eight or less, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Triceps. I'm gonna lighten my weight again. All these squats are adding up. Bend with your knees, lift with your legs. Tricep weight, same position as those wide back, back rows. Hinging forward, shoulders back, but bend your elbows. Lock them in place too. Single, contract. No pendulums here. Tricep contracts and that's how the elbow extends. So important. Pause, pause. Straight, 90. Belly sucking up, flexing the core, eight or less. Seven, keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Lunges, I'm gonna keep my lighter weights. My lunges are not as strong as my deadlifts or my squats. Adjust your weight if you need to. Left leg is gonna be forward, right leg is back, head and shoulders right above your hips. Single lunges, two sets of eight is the most. I'm keeping my dumbbells at my side. My arms are tired. No swinging though, if your dumbbells are at your side, don't let them hunch you forward and don't let them swing. Body weight might be enough. You might not need dumbbells for extra resistance. Stretching through the crown of your head. You've got four more. Three, two, and one. Step it up. Right leg, right leg forward. Left leg back. Getting it done. Let's just start now. Here we go. Lunge, lift, bend, extend. No forward movement. No backward movement. Lower, lift. Halfway. Eight or less. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Step it out. Okay, bicep curls. Bend your knees. Lift with your legs if you need to adjust. Good foundation. Singles with a quarter turn. Curl. Curl. No swinging, no momentum. Shoulders are back. Elbows directly below your shoulders. Contracting the bicep, not swinging the arms. Eight. That V is important. We're not parallel. We're definitely not externally rotated. Four. Three. Two. And one. So good. Bending your knees, set the weights down. Push-ups, right? I'm forgetting something. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Bring it down. Arms shoulder width apart. Ready? Three, two, one, single. So I'm gonna stay with the modified version on my knees so I can do as many as possible in good form. If I was on my toes, I would still keep good form, but I'd probably only do five or eight instead of 14 to 15. Keep it up, keep it up. Four, three, two, one. Sink it back. Feel that length, feel that stretch. Mountain glamours. 30 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So you can hold a plank. If you are standing, you can do standing mountain climbers. If you're horizontal, it can be a knee bend, one leg at a time, or you can jump running mountain climbers. Great form, strong core, breathing, working outside your comfort zone. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and done. Sneak it back. 
Spinal balance, our last move in the second round. On all fours, and at this point, maybe holding all fours is what you need. If you can extend, opposite arm, opposite leg. Keeping that neutral spine from the back of your head, through your neck, your back, and your tailbone. Shoulders are low and relaxed. We're reaching, but we're not shrugging the shoulder. Minimizing any wobble, trying to stabilize on the stationary arm and leg as we reach with the opposite arm and leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back. Feel that length, couple nice deep breaths. When you are ready, round up onto the balls of your feet, hands to your thighs. Support yourself to stand, take a nice deep breath. Grab a drink, towel off. Keep moving, don't stand still. Third and final round. So this workout is perfect for whatever your day looks like. You do not need to skip a workout when you are busy. You need to fit it in. So you can do round one only, you can do round one and two, or you can do all three. We're gonna start with standing cardio, mountain climbers, here we go. Last round, 30 seconds. Chin is level. High impact or no impact. Moving with intention. We're not doing butt kicks or hamstring curls. These are standing mountain climbers. So pull those knees up, keep that neutral spine, neutral pelvic bone, high impact or low impact, big or small ranges of motion in good form, and sprinting. We got five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Deadlifts. So this final round, 10 repetitions, that's it. Bend your knees, lift with your legs, Single tempo, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up carefully, quickly adjust your weight if you need to. We've got our wide bent back rows. Legs hip width apart, knees are soft, shoulder blades retracted. Don't yank, contract, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it up. Onto squats, bend your knees, lift with your legs if you need to adjust your weight. Legs are hip to shoulder width apart, toes are angled slightly out. Dumbbells can be at your side or on your shoulders. We got 10 strong squats. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder press. Adjust your weight if you need to. Bend with your knees, lift with your legs. Good foundation, big shoulder roll. Arms come up, knuckles to the ceiling. Singles for 10, nine, eight, seven. Rib cage pull down, abs are tight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lunges, left leg forward, right leg back, wide stance. Adjust your weight if you need to, I didn't, you might. Single left leg lunges for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, right leg lunges. Just your legs, I was so excited about lunges. Grab plies, we'll get to them, I promise. Right leg forward, left leg back, singles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it up. Kick backs, triceps, adjust your weight if you need to. I do not. Legs are hip width apart. 
Long neutral spine, hinge forward, bend those elbows. We got single kickbacks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now those plies. I'm not adjusting my weight. I'm going to keep these ones. Toes angled out. Hips are open in the front. Glutes are contracted. One dimensional. Knees follow the toes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bicep curls. Adjust your weight if you need to. We got that same foundation we used for the shoulders. Big shoulder roll, your best posture, gluing yourself in place. Single quarter turn, 10. Contract, control, even if it's a smaller range of motion. That isolation is key. Biceps do the work, wrists are neutral, shoulders neutral, both of those joints just stabilize. Two, and one, push up. Use the wall if you need to, if you are on the floor. Hardest position you can do in good form. I'm gonna try my toes to start. We got 10 push-ups. 10, nine, eight. Slow it down if you need to, but push, breathe. Three, two more. One more. Great job, think of that. We have one minute of work. Mountain climbers. Standing mountain climbers or horizontal. Here we go. 30 seconds. Breathing. Knees are soft, abs are tight. Work, 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 work. Leave it all right here. Arms are straight, elbows are soft. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Sink it back. Feel that length. Spinal balance. 30 seconds. On all fours. You ready? Here we go. Reach and lower. Reach and lower. Shoulders low and relaxed. Neck is long and lean. Breathing. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Definitely going slower than I was at the beginning of this workout. But I'm keeping the same form and that's what's mattering most. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Sink it back. Feel that length. Reaching through the fingers, sinking the hips over the heels, couple nice deep breaths. Round up nice and slow, onto the balls of your feet, hands come onto your thighs, support yourself and stand. Go ahead, grab a drink, towel up. We're gonna do a quick cool down. Marching up, does not matter what leg, just move. March in place, deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, nice deep breath. And exhale, take your right leg straight back, heel presses down, gently press that heel into the floor. We're gonna bring our right hand behind our head, stretching through the tricep. So this alignment is important. We do not wanna pull our elbow behind our ear. Keep it in line for that deep stretch. If you need more, bring your hand closer to your shoulder behind your head. Don't pull your elbow out of alignment. Release, other side. Left heel gently presses down. Your feet are in line with your hips. Your heel is in line with your toes. Left arm behind your head, feeling that stretch. Breathing. Remember, if you need a deeper stretch, don't pull on your elbow, but walk your hand towards your shoulder. So it looks like this. Walk your hand towards your shoulder but keep that elbow aligned. 
three, two, one. Bring it up. Interlock behind your back and extend. So our shoulders are level, our chin is level, so are our hips. Feel that stretch across your chest, around your shoulders, down your biceps. If you can stay neutral and you need a deeper stretch, you can lift the arms, but don't arch your back to do so. Great job. Release, hips stay level. Kick your right heel out. We're gonna hinge forward, leading with the chest, keeping that neutral spine. Support on your left thigh as you stretch your right hamstring into your glute, into your lower back. You never wanna support on the same leg that you're stretching. So if you ever wonder which leg to support on, keep that in mind. Bring it up, hips stay level, kick your left heel out, elongate as you hinge. So now your hands come to your right thigh as you stretch that left hamstring into the glute, into the lower back. I said thigh, because we want to make sure we're not holding our knee, we're holding that strong quad, strong femur bone. Bring it up, interlock, round forward. Gentle stretch, separating your shoulder blades. Feel that across your back. So good, around your shoulders, down your triceps. Reach up nice and tall, feeling that length without arching, keeping the shoulders low. And release, deep breath. Great job, Workout Worthy. We are done. Cardio, strength, and core all complete. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. Come back. If you are short on time, remember, round one is enough. Round two is even better. Round three is incredible. But your workouts, they don't have to be extreme. You have to be consistent. So instead of skipping a workout, come back and see me.